does free up a loan, um, you know, if, if we want to do that. And I just think for now we're going to leave that one. But I'd have to say I think he's been a fantastic loan signing. I think he's been a credit to his club and himself. And um, as a rule, really, he's, um, he's, he's been one of the better performers. You had no Lloyd on Tuesday and Jordan went off at half-time. How are they fitness-wise for Saturday? Um, yeah, Jordan got a, a whack, like a dead leg. So, um, you know, and he, I think he was carrying a book in as well, so he had to be careful. But um, Lloyd's back in training, which is a positive. Um, you know, I thought Matt Taylor and uh, Troy put in a real shift at the weekend, uh, sorry, Tuesday night. I thought they they dug in and you could see that the, the effort that went in and... Um, Matty sort of we've left Matty out of training today. We think he'd be fine for the weekend, but you know it's good to have Lloyd back because you know we 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 need that strength and depth. You were good enough to front up to some firm questions on Tuesday, as you might expect after a, after a, 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 a after after the run. What questions have you been asking yourself about how you can solve the problem here? That's a great question. Um, yeah, of course you you know it's it's a tough time at the moment. Um, it seems to have, you know, it's got tougher because we haven't picked up the wins. But, you know, I think without putting the rose-tinted glasses on, you've got to be, I have to be realistic. I have to look at expectations and the remit when, when we, we came in. And um, I think there's two ways of looking at it. Obviously, you can look at it that we've had one win, or you can say that in, you know, uh, 12 of the league games, we've took something in six, right? So we've all, I've always maintained that we've been in games. It's just been... Very difficult. I think the one thing I realise is that it's it's been very difficult to get a settled team, um, you know, under the circumstances that we found ourselves in, in terms of having to get players out, to get players in. You know, that's that was always going to be a bumpy ride, and I think that you know um, it can upset the, the atmosphere at the training ground. But I think over the you know certainly the last couple of games, although we've not picked up the wins, we have to be realistic with who we're play, playing. I think that, you know, you've probably got no good given right to go and beat Burton or South End with the budget they have and the squad they have and where they are in the league. So yeah, there's a number of things, but you know, I'm I'm happy with the way I've done things. Um, um there was you know, if you said to me would I if I had the chance again to start all over again would I do it different? And I probably wouldn't because it was a simple remit, you know, you had to get players out to get players in and like I say that was always gonna be difficult. Are Berry in the South End and Burton bracket? Yeah, they are. Yeah, definitely. I think you know um, they're a club that's probably expected to to, to do well, and uh, they'll be a strong team. And I think any any team that's up the top that's playing against any team down the bottom, like ourselves, will fancy their chances. The one thing we've got to do is dig in and show the, the grit and resolve that actually we showed second half against uh, South End. Because, like I said, I thought in them games. Any good team at Southend can can really you know get turned over a lot if it's two 0 and the boys showed some really good great character and strength and I think that you know if we can bring that into the game on Saturday we'll give ourselves a real chance. If you're trying to problem solve in various areas of the team, where is the emphasis in training? I think it's a, it's it's a mixed bag. I think that, that you you've got to keep the spirits high. Okay, so you want energised sessions, you, you're trying to bond the players together, okay, so you're trying to knit together the new players that we've brought in over the last sort of 10 days, 2 weeks, whatever it is, um, and also organisation, you know, I've always had my success from having an organised team, but, you know, to get the organisation spot on, you need great understandings between players, and, you know, that's what you work on in pre-season, and that's when you're building stuff, you know, we're having to do this halfway through the season, you know, which is, um, it's not easy, but we're working hard on it. And when you said on Tuesday about concentration being an issue for you, how do you improve that in the short term? Because the clock is ticking a bit, isn't it? Well, yeah, the clock's always ticking. I think, you know, you're always looking to get momentum wherever you are in the season, you know, but ultimately, um, you know, we need to pick up wins. We know that. We need to pick up wins all season, but we struggle to do it. We struggle. I've been trying to find out where the problems lie, where the problems sit. A lot of the cases have been, whether you call it concentration or bad errors, individual errors. It's hard. That's really hard to sort of get out of the team because you know you don't want to really criticise an individual for making a mistake, especially when the players are putting in the effort that they are. But I think it's about sticking with it. I think it's about sticking with the players and having faith in the boys that we've got. You know, because there's been a lot of a lot of um, ups and downs all season. It's been a real bumpy ride all season for everyone. 
if you had a naughty child in a classroom, you'd be on at them all the time to try and get them to concentrate. Can you effectively be on a, a, a player or the players during the ninety minutes all the time to try and to try and do that? Yeah, I think that I think that you know, you know, I'd rather be on the bench shouting well done's and you know come on's, and I think that that is the way forward. I think that we you set the team up, you set the players up, and you you trust them the weekend or on a Tuesday night. That's that's how you do things. And we've been organised. We've done our homework. We've done everything possible, humanly possible, to try and win games. But you you need a lot of things. You need a lot of things to win games of football. You. you you need, you know, togetherness. You need organisation, and you need, you do need good players in the end as well. You know, you need players to have star quality. You need, you know, defenders to want to be defenders, uh, attackers to score goals. But look, there's been a lot of, a lot of change, an awful lot of change, which has been enforced on us. You know, it's not something that you'd normally want in a season, but this is the way it's been. Given the crop you now have, is the ability there? I think it is. Yeah, I think that the back four. That played the other night, you know, other than Durrell, who I thought's been fantastic the last two games, considering it's his first two games. And there is a time where you need to, you need to let players bed in a little bit. Um, I think that that you know the back four was was stable throughout the game. It's like it seems to be at times that the couple of chances that come the opposition's way seem to be finding the back of the the back of the net. And I think that. If we can give ourselves a platform in a game and stay in a game longer, like we were, um, you know, just a few games ago, we do now have. I mean, we lost Jack Dunn. I mean, losing Jack Dunn and losing Kevin, you know, was a blow. There's no doubt about that. You know, Jack, we all saw what Jack Dunn could bring, and we ended up losing all three Liverpool players. So that was a blow. So there's more change. But I think that the boys that we've brought in, Richards, who. You know, when you're bringing in players at this stage, they've probably not been playing week in, week out. You know, I've said this before. I think Denny is the only one that's been doing that. All right, Burnsy was on loan, but I think he was in and out of the team at Oxford. And you've got Elliot Richards, who's was missing out. But I think they showed they've got some star quality, and that's what I've been trying to add: some 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 flair to the team, some pace to the team. You know, um, because when I came here, I didn't think we had that. I think we had it in sort of young Zach. But you know. He's, he's come on leaps and bounds, you know, but um, we didn't really have a, a fast team, a quick team, a mobile team, because we, we, we proved that against Oxford in the first game and being dumped out of the FA Cup. So I think now we have got star quality, it's just giving it a chance to uh, flourish. And just to come back to, to Berry, you're obviously where after Berry, there is this clutch of games against sides just above you. They look increasingly important now, don't they? So it was the was the three or were the three Burton, South End, Berry, almost kind of bonus point territory because you knew you had to get some kind of team bedded in for the four that follow. So that's a long question. Yeah, it's that's a good question. I think um, I think they're all really tough games. I think they're all games against teams that have got settled sides. But I think yeah, all the games are important. We're looking for some momentum. It's as simple as that, you know. It'd be fantastic if you could get the momentum against a top team. You know, if you could start that run against a top team, that you know, really fast track the belief. And I think we were so close against Luton, who <laughs> really close. Um, Newport, really close. I think in the Exeter game away, Nip and Tuck. I said we've shown real good signs throughout the, the twelve league games. It's just about now um, trying to step that next step forward and trying to, you know, get over the line and get a win. And, you know, Trevor was saying to me today, you know, he's he's desperate for a clean sheet. You know, it's been so long since we've had a clean sheet and you know, that does that does sort of take its toll. So we've got to keep lifting the players, we've got to keep staying positive. And like I say, the boys that we've brought in, they're good players and, and also they're really good people and I think that's one thing I always try and do in a club is, is bring a, a, a really good atmosphere and you only get that from good people. And last one for me. You said on Tuesday that this is the first kind of real scrap at the bottom you, you've been involved in because you because of where else you've been in your career. Do you or are there other people you pick the brains of other than the staff here to help you? I, I actually I don't know if I've made a mistake there, but I was in a real scrap at Torquay when we got promoted. We was I think we were second bottom. And I made some huge decisions which were really uncomfortable for everybody at the time. Just after Christmas actually it was. Where had to move players on that 
had been brilliant for me. Had got us promoted. Had been absolutely magnificent for me. But as a manager, you've got to make decisions, and I had to make those decisions, and I was backed on those decisions, and they proved right because we got out of trouble, um, and we ended up getting up the league, and in the next season, we got in the playoff final. So there's always tough decisions, and I've been in this this position before, and um, it's uncomfortable. It's not nice, but you need togetherness. You need togetherness, and that's fruit from everybody. From the top to the bottom, you need togetherness. And you hold your nerve. How was the attitude this morning from the from the boys coming in after Tuesday? It was okay. Mm. It was okay, yeah. It was, um, you know, they're not, they didn't come in doing cartwheels, mm. but they, 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 you know, they're okay. They're feeling it. The players are feeling it. And I think the team spirit... You know, he's going to start to build now. I think the team spirit is here. I think I've seen some good signs, but they need a lift. The, the, the players need that lift, and the way you get the lift as a player is by not only performing well, by getting the wins. You know, the wins are nice. It's a great feeling that we had at Oxford. It's the best feeling in the world winning a game of football. But like I say, no one gives you anything in this game. You don't get guineas very rarely, and you have to earn them. We all have to earn it. We all have to be true and work hard every day at the training ground and make sure we stick together and I think when you do that on a consistent basis you get performances and results. Do you think there's almost a, a mental problem that when a team go when the team goes down like they did earlier at South End there's they maybe sit there and think, Oh that's another game gone almost <laughs> Well I think there was an acceptance <laughs> after the I think that's the one thing I've been searching for since I've been here is an acceptance of where we are. Mm. And you know there's it's always a good thing when you're a manager. If a player comes in and just goes, my fault, sorry. That's nice because you know that they, one, they care and, and that they're, they're, they're taking responsibility. And I think taking responsibility is the biggest thing. In football, you take responsibility uh, in games to do your job and help your, your, your teammates or the, the players nearest to you. And um, it's, a, it's a big thing. And I think we've got... A, I'm not, I haven't seen a lot of that. To be honest with you, I haven't seen a lot of that here. It's one of the biggest problems that, you know... Um, individuals and not, you know, team and I think on on Tuesday night, like I said to you afterwards I said, now we're getting somewhere because they started to hold their hands up, need to be better need to do things because you know, it's not just me, it's not just Rob staff, whatever, it's everybody and if we get the mentality of the club that we're all involved in it and that we're all in the same and that we're all you know, holding our hands up and taking responsibility, we've got a chance. And I think I saw that on Tuesday night. I saw that with the players saying, OK, we know we're in a scrap. You know, we know we're in a fight and a scrap. Almost a case of maybe things have bottomed out and the only way is, is now up. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Things always bottom out. And I think that when I come in, oh, <laughs> bottom in it, I'm upstairs <laughs> going through the roof. Um, yeah, of course. You know, and I think when a when a new manager comes in, there's his expectation and all the rest of it. But you know, we're only all, only as good as people around us. We've all got to stick together and fight through it. And like I say, when players are leaving a club, they don't probably care too much, mm. all right? And then they try and affect others, and that's a normal thing. I think any manager will tell you that. And you have to understand that, and you have to be ready for that. And then you, uh, you know, if that's the way it is, and like it's at our, was at our place, sort of over that spell um, but now it's settled down a bit and let the new players bed in and s see if we can see if we can turn the season around because that's what it's all about it's about turning the season around and keeping the club up you know that's, that's you know what, what what I want it's the one thing I want this year is, is for Charlton Town to stay up and there, were, there were 49 in the away end on, on Tuesday night and their, their attitudes are obviously quite negative having sort of seen this whole run by the nature of being the ones that go home and away how important is it that that doesn't manifest itself into the start of the game Saturday? Oh, it's vital. Yeah, of course. But I think, you know, maybe at the start they're a little bit edgy, you know, with players and me, whatever. You know, they're entitled to be. They pay a lot of money, travel a long way. And about, I think mm. second half they actually believed. I think second half they started singing and, and they started singing because we, we had one cleared off the line. We Troy went close on the back post. So the focus will, will, will turn. You know, once we start getting near the goal, we start, you know, looking like a team that can win games. And I think we are looking like a team that can win games. 
So it's almost a case of don't support you, don't support the players, support the team, support the ones yeah, that are playing. Not, and you know, I don't you know subscribe to going too much on the supports. Like I say, I mean they they work hard all week. They, they pay the money to come, and they want to watch the team win, and they want to watch the team give effort. And I think that the fans will be happy with with the players that I've brought in. I think you know 